Welcome back everybody for your daily dose of MSG. We are back again with Subnautica and what I've done this week in the off screen time is I did a lot of farming of ion crystals. If you watched last week's episode, you know I was farming them down in the precursor installation, the containment facility, and I got a lot of crystals. Uh, I've got this many back at the base itself left and I have made a number more of the ion power cells. So I've got four here. I've got two in the prawn suit. And I've got one in the sea moss. So I'm good on power for a while. Of course, I've got six in the cyclops itself right now. I've also got one single uh, ion battery that is currently in my repair tool because let's face it, I'm having to use that a lot. Now, I have noticed something on the way back over here to start doing today's episode, I was attacked. Now, with the last update, we got some more changes. Now you can turn the engine on and off. Uh, you can go over here and do rig for silent running. Even at the slowest speed, even doing rig for silent running, I was getting numerous alerts. I mean, again and again and again that I was making excessive noise and I was attacked by about a dozen sharks on the way here where I had to stop and repair five different uh, hull breaches. I had a fire break out. I had to use the suppression system. And it was, I was sitting there using the, uh, the cameras and I'll look over and I see a shark like I could, probably 40, 50 meters away, you know, and it's making a beeline right for me, even on the lowest power setting. Fortunately, you know, the damage does seem to be less of an issue now on the Cyclops. Before the last update, I could bump into a peeper and have a hull breach. So it's definitely not taking as much damage now as it was before the last update. But now you can't drill anywhere in the Cyclops without making too much noise and being attacked by every aggressive fauna around you. But with that aside, I have made it back here and we are going to do what I ask for your comments on last week now one person jeff man commented that it's probably going to be impractical and buggy but should go ahead and do it and of course to me that means yes i should do it this i mean subnautica is a buggy game to start with so that's just a guaranteed thing that it's going to be buggy regardless of what happens but what we're going to do today is we are going to go ahead and i'm going to build a base inside the containment facility aquarium oh what's this you know what perfect let's go right here right here see if it will let us build and have ourselves a nice little simple base here now i'm gonna have to start with a multi-purpose room of course and let's get set just right so let's get some reinforcements going all right, so that's three reinforcements. Actually, let me take that one off. I don't want it there. I want it to the side because I want to have my hull, my uh, hatch right there. No, that's a interesting little bug. Okay, so we're going to do the hatch here. And because I am building from this spot, I have to build up. Normally, I would build... Well, no, actually, I can do this. I can just build up afterwards. So let's go ahead. Yeah, I'm going to do like I did on the... Uh, the base in the inactive lava zone, the hatch is going to be at the top level. And that's where we'll put the hatch. Okay, so this will be the bioreactor. And this will be like the alien containment. I'll do like some food stuff around the bioreactor. And then the alien containment will have some food planters. Or can have some food planners and then this will be where I have uh, all my other stuff battery chargers and such gonna build the hatch and now I should Warning. have enough Emergency power only. Oxygen Ooh, production I forgot I hope I think I've got titanium enough for some ladders I may actually be short I forgot to get titanium for the ladders from up there Worst case, yes, okay, I got that. I might have to go back now to get stuff for the other builds. We are going to get the bioreactor. And yep, I have to go back 
because I don't have enough titanium for that. And then we're going to get the containment here, which I don't have enough titanium for that. So I messed up. I forgot about the ladders. I'm going to have to go, get, go back and get some more titanium. Okay, I went ahead. I brought a little extra titanium beyond what I think I'll need just to make sure. And so we got the bioreactor done. Get the alien containment done. And now I need some actual aliens to throw in there. So you, you, sir. Okay, can't grab you. What can I grab? All right, take you. Okay, we got to get some power going now so I can actually breathe in here. I got, oh, no, 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 What? not what I meant to do. Sorry. All right, here we go. We got that, we got that, we got that. So I've got power almost two of each of the other ones. Oh, no, I got to put a hatch on here too. I forgot about that as well, and I don't have glass. Okay, so I've already dropped in a bunch of fish pretty much two of each I actually accidentally clicked one with peeper uh, so we're gonna let that go I'm gonna go ahead and toss the rest of this in we're gonna see who uh, reproduces fastest later on with this to find out who gets to actually stay alive and keep going in the tank and who else gets taken out of the tank and fried up in the bioreactor but there it is the basic basic structure and you see my power is just slowly creeping up. I don't have anything actually using power yet other than the oxygen production. And apparently at some point they're supposed to make it where you have to have like planters. Like the, uh, what was it? The, the wall. That. The living wall. Stuff like that later on is supposed to be used for oxygen production, I think. Oh, now I can't. Uh, there we go. I'll go ahead and put that in just in case they do that later. But that's it. Uh, that's really all I wanted to do is just to build me a nice little base here. And it's like, oh, hey, look, I have a base just because I can in the containment center. Why not? Why not have a base here? Because at some point we're going to be coming back here and finishing the storyline and going on, curing the planet, getting off this planet. But right now we're having to wait on the storyline to be completed with the next update. And I'm kind of... At the point, I just don't know what else to really do in this. I'm kind of getting burned out on the game and really just want to finish the storyline. So, it's a short episode today. I have been doing a lot of other stuff, dealing with uh, some equipment loss from lightning damage or you know, electrical damage. Uh, so, I've had a little bit less time than what I normally would for playing this week on certain things uh, or at least over the last couple days. Now, I on this I'm going to do for next week like I said I want to do a base somewhere and I'm not 100% sure where yet I'm thinking to go out to uh, I think it's like way not north but west like all the way up to where there's a, apparently there's a sinkhole and kind of go down in there and build the base but I want to build the most efficient base design possible the one that will cover pretty much anywhere that you can make small modifications and it will work regardless of whether you're in the inactive lava zone you're next to a geothermal vent or you're using nuclear reactor so i want to find a place that will work as a good testing ground for that and next week we're going to do the most efficient base design i can come up with as far as you know needing the fewest number of resources to cover it for wherever it is uh for you know safety for food production energy production and uh for you know being able to fabricate supplies and also recharge your batteries and power cells so that's going to be next week's episode and i think after that unless we have another big update that further moves the storyline along I'm going to take a break from the storyline gameplay and go back to creative mode and do some more stuff with that. Because like I said, I am getting kind of burned out in the game and I'm really just not enjoying it as much as the other games like the Forest and Empyrean. It, it doesn't have as much fun to it for the, the resource farming part. It, it's, it, it's to the point I really just want to finish this game in the season by completing the game story and moving on to something else.
Thanks for watching, everybody. Sorry for the short episode, but if you liked it, make sure you hit that like button. Be sure you hit subscribe and hit the little notification bell so you can get notified when I post during the week. I'm posting six days a week right now. You can also follow me on Facebook and Twitter to keep up with everything during the week. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.